Welcome back, Royals, to another fabulous video. Guys, as part of today's collaboration, I am coming to you with an amazing walking pad treadmill sent over by Lightyear They sent this treadmill over, guys, and it could not come at a more perfect time. I shared a little clip of it with you guys a few videos back just to give you a little insight, but I want to share with you just the perks and beauty of this device. First of all, guys, it is extremely compact, sleek, and lightweight. Can easily slide up under a table, desk, or sofa. I have it set up here in the living area just to show you guys the functionality of it. And real transparent moment, perimenopause has come in like a mighty Russian wind. And I am on a mission to get my life at the optimum level of health spiritually mentally and physically and again this is going to aid beautifully in doing so it comes with a remote control guys with four different settings that gives you your time your distance your calorie and your speed which gives you total control as to how intense you want your workouts how long you want your workouts what is the distance you set the goal according to what your desires are but it is absolutely amazing as you see i'm trying out different settings different paces just to find my groove of things but if you are on a wellness journey if you want to maintain your health if you're working from home and can't get to the gym if life just gets life and then you don't have time this is a wonderful alternative guys i am so loving this i want to thank Lisa Cole for sending this over guys i am going to make this a part of my weekly regimen i'm committed to 10,000 steps a day in a hour of walking three times a week i am so determined to get myself at my optimum level of health and this is a great way to do so of course i will have all the information linked in my description box for you guys to tap into this wellness phenomenon and get yourself at your optimum level of health and care in a recent doctor's visit conversation with my doctor really was an eye-opener for me health wise she explained how pivotal it was for your spiritual and your mental health to be aligned because it directly affects your physical health so i am on a mission to do so so without any further ado guys let's get into today's video so as part of the beauty fall styling series guys we're going to be in my kitchen area i last share with you my breakfast look and i wanted to continue in that flow this is a recap of what the space looked like for the queen bee or summer style and i absolutely loved it i love the layout i love the formality and the functionality of things so for today's video i'm going to share with you how we can take items that we already have and love and play what i like to call domestic shuffle and create a totally new look and feel room by room so a lot of the things guys are going to just remain and let's get into the styling of it all starting first over in the stove area on the stove area again i love the functionality of it i love the flow of things so we're going to keep that same vein i am going with this marble and gold theme once and again it has been a running theme for me in my kitchen for the last four years i believe and i absolutely love it just adding to the look as time go on to create a curated lived in space and i love the way my kitchen looks and feels season after season using the marble and gold theme adding these beautiful marble cutting boards that i picked up from ross and home goods again i've curated this over time so when i'm out and i see things that i think would fit the theme i purchase them or add them to the collection but here i am going with a marble on marble look and i think it's very very sleek and sophisticated for this design most if not all of the items style will be pretty stationary and again i'm just changing out the themes and i'm gonna bring in now more of the fall themes i absolutely love styling with my daily or functional items and just bring it in a designer piece here and there to create new looks so to balance out the items on the opposite side i'm going to bring in this triple pumpkin i picked up from burlington i absolutely love the marble look in the center with that warm wood because that is kind of that trilogy doing the marble the gold and that warm wood tone is absolutely beautiful to me so we're going to bring that in to bring some balance and symmetry to the height of the look to create more dimension i'm going to add in another staple in this area and that is this cake stand that i use it's just a little riser a decor riser but it also holds functional things for my cooking day to day so now that i have that 
we're going to continue to add on we're going to be working simultaneously from side to side just to create and bring in that fall vibe into the space so another thing i love doing guys is displaying beautiful plates or cookbooks and little vignettes because essentially in your kitchen that's what you're doing you're creating just little vignettes i like to style in each corner cozy little looks that tell a cohesive story so we're going to set up this plate stand i've had it for a number of years i think i got it from a store called colony shop years ago but i absolutely love it it's functional and it works and so i say if it ain't broke don't fix it so now guys to bring in my fall color scheme of the year it is going to be black white and gold to flow in with the breakfast nook and this black and white play i picked up from hobby lobby during christmas i'm adding this time and table plate from walmart i love these i have both patterns and i mix and match them because i love that play on color and design i think it creates a lot of interest and for the star of the show these cute little um, dinner plates from hobby lobby with the black and white or ivory color pumpkin i think that is perfect and it sets the tone for the rest of the kitchen area so now we know that the accent color is going to be black white and gold now we're going to bounce on this side we're going to add the other pumpkin that i picked up from burlington again in that nice wood tone with those creamy designs that kind of picks up the marble hue everything is flowing beautifully and i'm loving the way it's feeling we're going to continue to build the look guys it's all about creating balance and symmetry in the midst of the beauty you have to have functionality so i'm going to bring in this cute little glass tray with the gold trimming i use this to house my oils because again i need function and beauty to flow seamlessly together and i got this little tray from ross maybe three or four bucks not much at all but it has been a staple in my kitchen another staple here is this beautiful dessert tray i have two variant heights and i use them in my kitchen season after season i house condiments in them sometimes i'll put desserts in them. this is whatever my heart desires so i'm going to place that there because it flows beautifully with the design now we're going to bounce back over here we're going to add my oils my olive sesame and avocado oils these containers are picked up from Amazon as well as the labels. I love that little splash of gold and white over in this corner. Again, it's about balancing out the theme and the design. now that we have those things in place let's add a few more little fall themed how cute is mr squirrel i picked him up from big lots guys about four years ago and i absolutely love him he makes his place throughout the house fall after fall so this year he found a home in the kitchen and he has like a beautiful gold and tan hue to it it's perfect for this theme and this guys is one of my one of my favorite pieces for the fall it is a leaf decorative bowl but i'm gonna use it as a spoon rest i tell you guys all the time you don't have to use things for what they're purchased for you can be creative and use them however you see fit and so you're going to see a little bit of pumpkins and leaf design throughout this entire look more functionality i love using these coasters to set different things on while i'm cooking whether it's a can that i'm opening or even another area for the spoon but it has the three components of this design the marble the gold and the wood tones and so i'm just playing around with it now finding a placement for it that's another beauty of design is just do what works and feels good to you there are no rules the only rule is to do what pleases you and those that dwell in the house if it's functional for you if it looks good if it feels good i say go with it so i have those things in place and we're going to add a few more pieces you just keep styling until your inner designer says enough now we're going to bring in these super cute salt and pepper shakers i have had these for quite some time and i want to say i got these from ross i have another set that i know i got one from ross and one from home goods so this one i believe came from ross and it's white with the gold 
detail and it has a beautiful little leaf down the stem of the pumpkin which ties in both themes together beautifully again the beauty is always in the details and i have curated a lot of leaf themed items over time as well as pumpkins and so here i have this leaf candle holder got from bath and body works and i'm going to place inside this candle i love it because it has the black lid and it pulls that color over to this side it's all about creating balance everywhere your eye travels it should see a symmetry of your theme and your color scheme that is the key to good design let's plan around here with placement of things you'll see me do that and shuffle it around again until it feels right All right, so that looks and feels right. Now let's address the stove. I love to place towels on my little stove handle. And because black is the accent color, I picked up these waffle design towels actually for my Love's Barbecue kit, but I'm gonna pull them and use them for the styling of this season. I absolutely love the texture on them. And then I'm gonna pair it with this ultra sophisticated, ultra glam, gold and white pumpkin towel. I think it pulls the three colors together beautifully. That is complete. So now there's a few more items, guys. There always has to be an inspiration. And in my case, there was a couple of inspirations. One being the dessert plate from Hobby Lobby. And the other being an item that I, as soon as I saw this item, I knew that I had to, had to have it. It was absolutely perfect. It fit the color scheme is something that I could utilize year after year. And so after I did all of my mental checklists, this beauty made it to the design. How gorgeous is this black and white pinstripe pumpkin? It's actually a cookie or a um, canister, guys. I call it a cookie jar, but it's a canister. So cute and so perfect for this design. So I'm going to set it center stage on the stove. Last little pieces, guys. I'm going to bring in this little pumpkin bowl it's white with the gold detail and then i have these little leaf shaped spoons or a spoon rest so i'm going to place them there just playing around with it pulling those colors in this may or may not stay of course when i'm cooking i'll just move it to the side but i love it for the staging of it all So now let's dress an often forgotten area, guys. I spray painted this little eat sign in a beautiful gold hue. And I just find that I like styling this from season to after season. I styled it for the summer season and I thought we can make this a running thing. So I'm going to just take one of those extra towels. This has thankful, grateful, blessed written on the bottom of it. And I'm going to roll it up so that that's visible. And that completes that area. So now, guys, let's move on to another area. I absolutely love styling this space, but I utilize the same pieces season after season because they function beautifully for my family and I. So here I've just cleaned everything up and got my stationary items in place. But to bring in the theme or usher in the fall theme, I'm going to add this gorgeous pumpkin cutting board that I got from Home Goods. All right, guys, I'm going to come in with another staple, and it is this rotating marble tray. I got that from TJ Maxx. Now, this beautiful paper towel holder from Inspire Me Home Decor. Guys, the two-tier tray is from TJ Maxx. The Keurig is from Amazon. The tray that it's housed on is from Ross. 
and the gold and white marble tray that sits in front of the pumpkin is from Amazon. Of course, everything that I can link, I will have linked in my description box, but this is the staple for the design. So now let's bring in these beautiful canisters also from Inspire Me Home Decor. I found on that site a lot of beautiful gold and white decor items that really fit the theme of this space. So they will be staple in the area. Now I'm going to bring in a little fragrance to usher in the fall season with my wax warmer. I got this one from Amazon as well. Now to complete the beverage station, I'm going to bring in this three-piece canister set, also from Inspire Me Home Decor. One houses the honey spoons, another houses my collagen powder, and the third one will house the sugar from my love's coffee. Each of us use this station on a daily basis, so I need it for it to function, as well as be beautiful. And this works for us. And so again, as I say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This works, we're just going to change it out and put in some cute little um honey spoons that are shaped like leaves i thought they were so super cute so i added those and now we're going to bring in our syrups a mocha for my love a caramel frappuccino a caramel macchiato for myself and i love those little pump dispensers also from amazon the but first coffee sign that's on the wall is from hobby lobby it came in a gunmetal color and I gave it a nice gold spray paint as well as the blessed sign that's on top of the cabinets also from Hobby Lobby. I gave it a nice glam over with the gold spray paint as well. Now to complete this look guys I'm going to add in some coasters. Marble with a gold trimming. We use them on a daily. Then we're going to bring in just a little bit of more of the fall vibe in this area. Again, I need it to be pretty and functional. So just add a little bit of beauty. You're going to add this cute little grateful pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. And then this beautiful salt and pepper shaker set that I got from Z Gallery years ago, guys. We use them to house powder sugar and cinnamon. Again, purchased for one item or described as one use, and we gave it our own. You can use any item however you see fit, but they function well for us in this area. So now let's get into the two-tiered tray. I have this beautiful set of pumpkin uh, motif cups I picked up from Home goods several years ago I have an entire disc set and you will see them displayed in other areas for the season but they're absolutely gorgeous and I love bringing them out season after season I always like to encourage you guys to buy what you love because when you buy what you love you'll never get tired of it I've had these for a number of years and I look forward to styling with them each fall season they're absolutely gorgeous so now that we have those in place let's continue to build the tier tray design. I have this gold little vessel from Hobby Lobby. I will be adding some fall stems in there. And then this 
Hello Pumpkin Cup I picked up from Burlington. Now to bring in some black and white guys. I have this black and white striped cup set I got from Home Goods, and I just want to splash that color on this side of the room as well. We have the ivory and gold, but I needed to bring just a little splash of black and white into the area. So we're going to place another cup on the Keurig machine, and then we're going to place the other cup down below. Again, just to splash the accent color around the room. Final thing is my other dessert tray, and it's complete. Now let's move on to my last and probably my most favorite area to style, and it's this three-tiered tray that I style seasonally. And over to the right, I have my little functionality tray that's to house my soap and my lotions. So that tray is also from Ross, probably four or five bucks, not much at all. And one of these container, one of the dispensers houses lotion and one houses hand soap. They tie in with the look, but they function for me on a daily. And then finally, we're going to take that leaf candle holder in a vanilla pumpkin scented candle and set that there. And that's going to complete that little area. And so now, guys, I absolutely love this set of pumpkin cups I picked up from the at home store. I've had them for several years. And again, I love them, so I look forward to pulling them out each season. And I love the fact that they're actually shaped like pumpkins. Real thick ceramic glass, very sturdy, very well made pieces, and I absolutely love having them in my collection. So that will be the first layer on this tray. Now guys, I do decorate this tray season after season, but whenever we host, it totally functions as a dessert tray for us. So I get dual functions out of it. Now to the second row, I'm gonna display some more beautiful cups because if you have them, why not? These polka dot gold and white cups I got from Home Goods, And then on top, y'all, how cute are these pumpkin mugs? These are from Ross. I picked them up the other day and they're perfectly match the cookie jar that's on the stove and then to close it out or finalize this little area I have another one of those pumpkins from Hobby Lobby and that completes this area guys I'm so loving the flow of things and how beautifully it flows with the breakfast nook area so without any further ado I give you the midnight harvest kitchen edition enjoy wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah. But something went wrong, the signals got crossed, and now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow. You're trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, baby, don't you Baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, baby, don't you Baby, don't you switch up the vibe Will you take me on a trip? Always up and down and back and forth in merry go round. I just wanna get it right. But when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind. Cause something went wrong, the signals got crossed. And now we're going different directions. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow. Trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. If you love me just like you say you do Don't kill the goodbye If you kill him, you're gonna kill us too Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow You're trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow Baby, 
baby, keep your focus. Don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. This work, I made his words. We fell apart a thousand times, a thousand times. You moved away. I'm here to stay. I wish I could go back in time, back in time. I'm so sorry that I hurt you so deep. Swear I spent the last few years just trying to change. I'm on my knees. I'm begging you, please. Is there any chance you're thinking about me? If I change my place, babe, won't you come back to me? Make no mistakes, babe. Won't you come back to me? Come back. And now, if this is your first time visiting and you see what you like and like what you see, I want to invite you to hit that subscribe button and join the royal family. I would absolutely love to have you come along and be a part of this royal journey with me. To my tried and trues and my brand new booze, you guys know that I so love and appreciate you. Thank you all so much for your continued support. Every thumbs up, every comment, every like, every share is greatly appreciated. Guys, let me know that I nailed this midnight harvest or what. I absolutely love the flow of this space. I want you guys to click those notification bells. Hit them twice so that you always know when I upload new content. The Beauty Fall Styling Series is still underway. And we have about four or five more spaces, maybe six, if I'm feeling froggy, to share with you guys. So don't forget to connect with me on my other social media platforms. I can be found at House of Royalty on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Guys, I have some affiliate links listed in my description box. I would love for you to click on them and shop till you drop. Until the next video, stay safe, remain real, and have yourselves a blessed and beautiful, beautiful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.